Many users have complained that FaceTime is not working on their iPhones after the new iOS 15 update, such as calls getting frozen, not connecting at all, dropping randomly, black screen, share link not working, screen share not working and so on. In this video, we will show you some easy and effective ways to fix FaceTime not working on iPhone 12, 12 mini and 12 Pro Max running on iOS 15. This process will also work for any iPhone running on iOS 15. First and foremost, FaceTime not working problem can happen due to slow internet connection problem. So make sure you have proper internet connection. You can check that by opening a web page or YouTube video. You can refresh your network by turning on the airplane mode, wait a bit, then turn it off. It will refresh your network connection and it often fixes the issue. You can also switch between Wi-Fi to cellular data or vice versa. It often fixes the problem. Your Wi-Fi router can create problem with your FaceTime on iPhone. If your router has some firewall or security software, it can create problems with FaceTime connection. Also make sure your carrier and data plan allows FaceTime calls if you are using your contact number for FaceTime. If not, it can cause the problem. Also before going to any other ways, you can check your Apple system server status. If the FaceTime is working on your area or not. Simply go to Google from your browser, search Apple system server status, now check the fast link, check if the FaceTime is available or not. As you can see, it has green light on, it means it is available in our area. If it is available and the network connection or router security is not causing the problem, check out the next ways. If you have saved some contacts with emojis on your iPhone, those contacts are not working on your FaceTime. According to many users, the contacts that have emojis on are facing serious problem while using FaceTime. So you can edit your contacts and remove the emoji from the contact. And it should fix the FaceTime problem on your iPhone after the iOS 15 update. If your FaceTime got frozen or stuck, you can force close the app, then restart it. It often fixes the issue. Swipe up from the bottom of the screen. You will see all the apps running in the background. Swipe up FaceTime to close it. Now close all the apps one by one for safety purpose. Now open FaceTime again and your problem should be fixed. If you're having trouble with FaceTime calls, you can restart your FaceTime settings on your iPhone. Open settings, scroll down and select FaceTime, toggle it off, restart your iPhone for safety purpose, go to settings again, select FaceTime and turn it on. If your iPhone's date and time is not set correctly, it can cause problem with the FaceTime calls. So you can set it to automatic. It can fix the issue. Make sure you're using the latest iOS update possible. If there is a pending update, it can cause problem with FaceTime calls. Also, if you're using any kind of beta software, it can cause problem with FaceTime. As it is not stable, so we will suggest you to downgrade to regular iOS to fix the issue, if you don't want to downgrade, make sure you are using the most recent beta software possible. If there is any restriction on the FaceTime, it can cause the problem with FaceTime connection. So turn off restrictions. If you are trying to preserve iPhone's battery, so you have turned on low power mode on your iPhone, it can cause problem with FaceTime calls. So you can turn it off. Launch settings app. Go to battery. 
turn off low power mode. If you are using low data mode on your networks, it can cause problem so you can turn it off to fix the FaceTime problem. Open settings, tap Wi-Fi, tap on the eye icon beside connected Wi-Fi, turn off low data mode. If you are using cellular data instead of Wi-Fi and it's on low data mode, you have to turn it off. FaceTime problems can happen due to some settings misconfiguration. So you can give it an all settings reset. It will fix any settings related problems. Your iPhone will take auto restart and all the customized settings, passcode, restrictions will be erased from the iPhone. But don't worry, it won't erase any of your personal data and contents from the iPhone. If nothing else works, sign out of your Apple ID, restart your iPhone, then sign in back again. Now set up your FaceTime and it should fix FaceTime not working problem on iPhone 12, 12 mini and 12 Pro Max or any iPhone running on iOS 15. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any query about FaceTime, let us know in the comment box. Thank you.